Hello everyone, my name is Zoe Trooper and welcome back to the second episode of creating the ultimate 5M RP server. If you guys didn't watch the first video which shows you guys how to set up the server then be sure to do that. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install custom vehicles for police which will also be very very similar for civ vehicles and installing a lighting vehicle control unit and also adding our police vehicles into our cubicle framework which is something not a lot of people know how to do but it is relatively simple. As always, this video is sponsored and this whole series by HG Network. Be sure to go down in the description below where you guys can get server hosting, which is how you run a 5M server. If you're doing a public 5M server, you need server hosting. You can get really affordable and high performance server hosting at hgnetwork.one down in the description below, which is my company. And all you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below. Once you've logged into your VPS that I showed you guys how to use in the previous video, and it's going to bring you guys right here to the Luxart vehicle control script on GitHub. Scroll on down to the bottom and you guys will see the standard assets page and then download links to the versions. What you guys are gonna wanna do is click this one right here, the Luxart vehicle control version 3.2.9 revision one. Click this link and you guys should see it will start downloading for you. Once it's downloaded, open it on up with WinRAR which comes pre-installed on your HD network Windows VPS. Open our 5M server, go to TX data, cubicle framework, and then resources. Inside of here, we're going to right click, new folder. And we're going to call this one with the brackets at the beginning, car scripts, and we're going to do a closing brackets. And now we have just made a subcategory folder. So we can ensure this one folder and everything inside of it will automatically start. It's pretty nice to do and it is good housekeeping so it doesn't look like your server is really unorganized. Especially if down the road you need to give your server to a developer because you don't have enough time to do it. If your server gets big enough, they'll be able to find every script nice and easy. And inside of this car scripts folder, what you guys are going to want to do is come to your download, grab the LVC folder and drag and drop it into the car scripts folder like so. And now we've added our LVC mod, we're just going to come inside of this folder, go inside of the settings.lua, we're going to select a notepad to open it with, click open, and we're just going to add in our community ID. It can literally be whatever you want. I'm just going to do HD network, alt, and then file, and save. And now we're going to go back to our resources folder. And you guys will see if you go inside of this dependencies folder, we're going to have to place Rage UI into a folder again so we're going to have quite a few dependencies as we go through the series so we're going to make another subcategory folder so right click new brackets and we're going to call this one dependencies and then closing brackets and now we can put all of our dependency scripts that other mods require into here so grab this rage ui folder and drag and drop it in and now the next step so we can close our download we don't really need that anymore go back to the resources folder and we're going to add these two folders that we just made into our server.cfg in order to make sure that the mods inside of them actually start when we start our 5M server. So to do this, we're gonna go and open a new file explorer tab. So you can just right click on file explorer in your taskbar, click file explorer again, and it will open a second one for you. We're gonna go back to our 5M server. So go to desktop, 5M server, TX data, cubicle framework, and then you will be greeted with your server.cfg. We're going to double click this and we're going to select try an app on PC and we're going to open it with notepad and just click always use this to open CFG files. Click OK and it will open up our server.cfg which as I explained in the previous video is basically our settings for our 5M server. Scroll on down until the resources section. We're going to go under the last ensure line which is ensure default maps. Press enter twice and we're going to place a hashtag which means that your server.cfg won't read it as a line of code. So you can do a nice little subheading and we're gonna do car scripts. And we're gonna press enter. And this time we're gonna type ensure. And we're going to copy the name of that car scripts folder we just made and paste it on in. So ensure and then the car scripts subcategory folder. And one more thing, we're going to make another line, but this time we're going to do this line below ensure base events because we need dependencies to start before everything else. This is a key thing. Some resources need to start before others. Otherwise, that resource that requires it won't work because it won't detect that resource it needs. And we're going to type ensure 
I'm going to copy the name of our dependencies folder. And there you go. Nice and organized as well. It's pretty nice to do. Keeping your 5M server organized. Trust me, it makes this so much easier to mod in the future. Once we've done this, we're going to go file, save, and we can close our server.cfg on down. And now we've done this and we've installed our cast scripts. We're going to keep this file open in the background by here because we're going to come back to our server.cfg in a moment. And we'll put this to the side. We won't minimize it because we are going to come back to this literally in a few minutes. The next thing you guys are going to want to do is click the second link down in the description below, which will bring you guys right here to the Police Bravado Buffalo S 5M mod. Now, you don't have to install this exact vehicle. It's really up to you. I'm just using this as an example. And I wanted to make you guys aware that 5M has new TOS where your vehicles have to be law friendly. So make sure you guys grab yourself a law friendly non ELS 5M ready vehicle and just go to download and make sure you guys download the latest version available to you 1.3 for this mod and then click download again and you guys should see in a couple of seconds it will start downloading our mod there you guys go we're going to open it on up and if we take a look inside of this folder right here we'll see our 5m folder which is how we install it into 5m so what you guys are going to want to do go inside of the add-ons folder and you guys will see the nk buffaloes folder or if you're installing a different mod just look for the folder that contains the fx manifest.lua. That's how you know. That is the folder that contains the mod. Minimize it to our desktop. Go back to our resources folder in our 5M server. Make another folder. And we're going to make another subcategory folder. It's really up to you if you want to do separate your law LEO vehicles and your SIV vehicles into two different folders. I usually do so. I'm going to do it in separate folders. So I'm going to do LEO and then a closing bracket. And I'm going to place all of my LEO vehicles in here from now on. So we're going to grab our NK Buffaloes folder and drag and drop it in. And just like that, we have installed the mod. The only thing we need to do now is ensure our new subcategory folder once more. So copy the name, bring back up that other file explorer tab that we closed earlier, open the server.cfg on up again with notepad, scroll on down, hashtag. We're going to do car mods it's really up to you what you put here just make sure it's nice and organized so you guys understand that anything below it is what that heading is and then type in sure and we'll copy the name of our new subcategory folder just like so there you guys go and file save now, if you want to add these vehicles into our cubicle framework, so they will actually spawn in the police job garage, you cannot just leave it as this. What you guys need to do is go inside of the LEO folder we just made and inside of the mod folder and go inside of the stream folder. And right here is going to be our file name or our spawn code for the vehicle. So it's NK Buffaloes. Then the .yfd is just a file type, so you just ignore that. And same with here, it's not NK Buffaloes underscore. The underscore high dot yft is a file type so that's how you know your spawn code and we're going to use the other file explorer tab we have open to navigate to our resources cubicore scroll on down until you find qb police job here it is open that on up and open the config.lua up we're going to open this one up with notepad as well from here, it's going to open up something which looks a little bit confusing, but it is basically the settings file for our police job mod. We're going to scroll on down until we find our police garage. Here it is. You guys can see. Scroll down to the config authorized vehicles section. Copy this. Paste it on in below. So we just made a copy of the line above so we know that the line that we have is correct. And all you guys are going to want to do is copy the spawn code for the vehicle you just added, replace Sheriff2 since that's the spawn code of the default vehicle. And then we're going to rename it. We'll rename it to, we'll rename it to Police Buff, for Police Buffalo. Or you can do the full name. We'll do the full name so it doesn't get confusing. Nice and organized. There you go. Police Buffalo. And we'll do File, Save and close it on down. And there you guys go. We've added our police car into our Cubicore framework as well. So now we will actually spawn in the police garage, which is something a lot of people miss out. From here, we actually should be good to start our server on up, or if your server is already started like me. So just double click your TX admin dashboard right here, log in, 
and we'll just restart our server and any changes we've made will now come into effect and that new mod we just added will load in to the server and now we should be good to join it and i'll show you guys how to access it okay so once you guys has loaded into our 5m server all you need to do just like i showed in the other video is make sure you use our slat a slash set job command and set our job as police so to do that slash set job your id which is usually one job police grade and we'll do that as four which is the highest once you guys have done that if we do t slash set slash job it will show us our job as law enforcement now just come to the garage section of the mrpd and if we walk around by here somewhere by here you guys should see the little pop-up for the police garage there it is we're going to hold alt to use our third eye and we can then move our mouse around at the same time click police garage and you should see there it is the police buffalo click it and there you guys go and as you guys can see here as soon as we spawned it in as well we've got our luxart vehicle control panel we can toggle that around by clicking o on our keyboard and it'll bring up the actual menu that we can use if we go to hud settings you guys can see we can put it into move mode where we can use our mouse to move it around i usually put it around the top right here and we can also scale the size and change the backlight and things like that pretty nice once you guys have done that all you need to do is press q and your lights will turn on you can mess around with all the buttons like one to turn your sign on and you can use e for your horn it's really nice it's pretty much like els for gta 5 story mode but for 5m and you don't need ELS ready vehicles. Just like that, you have installed your first mod into your 5M server and configured your QB Core database. I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check out the channel sponsor and the video series sponsor, HDNetwork.1, which is my new website down in the description below. If you guys are looking to host your own 5M server, which is how I recommend doing it, just like in this series, as I explained, you need a 5M server host if you're doing a big 5M community, as running it on your own PC is not safe. So check that out down in the description below, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers, and goodbye.